Hello everyone and welcome back. In the last few videos you have been learning about unit testing and also learning about how you can test controller actions and that's what we did in the last video. We tested the step counter view controller and in this video I want to introduce to you to UI or user interface testing. So user interface testing is actually going to launch our application click the button and then make sure that the label is set to the correct text. So I'm going to go over here, select the actual project, go to the editor, add a new target. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new unit testing target. So simply go ahead and search for test and you will see that there is a project or a template for UI testing bundle. Let's go ahead and select that. You can call it anything you want. I'm simply going to call it Step Tracker UI Test. And let's go ahead and finish it. And now we have a separate target and a separate project added, which is Step Tracker Unit Test. There's a lot of code that is already in there. We don't need a couple of different things, like we don't really need the test example. We don't really need the test teardown. So let's go ahead and remove that. Uh, setup also, we technically don't really need setup, but I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, the comments portion of it. There we go. And let's go ahead and remove the performance stuff. We don't really need that for our example. There we go. Making the test a little bit nicer and cleaner by removing all these comments that we have. Okay, so this is our step tracker UI test. But what exactly do we have to test? What we like to test is that when we click the button, which is in the storyboard, the increment button. So when we click the increment button, the label will update and label will say the current counter value, which will be like one. So that is exactly what we want to test. So let's go ahead and write the context of our, of our test. When increment button is pressed. So this is the context when increment button is pressed. Should update label successfully. All right. You can be a little bit more descriptive. You can say should increment the label successfully. That is perfectly fine also. So when increment button is pressed, should update the label or should increment label successfully. Perfect. So now how do we test? Well, the first thing we are doing over here is we are creating an instance of the app, which is of type XCUI application. We need to do that because app.launch is actually going to launch our simulator, our application, and then we can access different controls inside our view. Now, if you look carefully, we only have two different controls in our application, a button control and a label control. So let's go ahead and try to access the button control. So what we want to do is we want to access the button control and we want to then tap on the button control. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to say app.buttons passing in some sort of ID of the button, which doesn't exist right now, increment button. This is going to give me the increment button. I'm just going to move it into a variable. And then I can go ahead and click increment button dot tap. This is equivalent to you actually tapping the button. The next thing with what we need is the counter label because now we need to check if the counter label is updated or not. And you can get access to the label using static text. Let's call it counter label. Once again, this particular ID doesn't really exist right now. And now we can use the XCT assert to check. So XCT assert, we want or we assume that the counter label will be one. So I can check over here by saying counter label dot label, which will be the actual text of the label. Now, if you try to run this test right now, this test is going to fail because it's not going to be able to find the increment button ID 
and the counter label ID. We still have to go back to our main dot storyboard and we have to make sure that these IDs are set. And let's go ahead and run the test. That's just kind of like trying to run right now. And you'll see that the test will eventually fail. It will say, well, it's not able to find a button with increment button as a unique identifier. So we'll just wait for the test to run. The first time, obviously, when the test runs, it's a little bit slow, but on the subsequent runs, it is a little bit faster. And there we go. You can see that the test is actually failing. And basically, it's saying that it was not able to find the increment button. That's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and first copy this ID and go back to our main storyboard. Click on increment button. And if you go and click on the class option over here, the identity inspector, right under the accessibility, right over here, the identifier, this is the identifier you can set. So let's go ahead and set it to increment button. And this is now, it will be able to, the test will be able to access this. Let's go ahead and select the label also, and you can see the identifier is blank in the accessibility section. Let's go ahead and say counter label. Perfect. So counter label is set, increment button is set, and our unit test, now we can try to run our unit test again. So let's go ahead and run it again. And I'm gonna go ahead and launch and show you that what the unit test is actually going to do. It's going to launch the application. It's going to try to find the increment button, click on the button, and there we go. The test actually passed. Now, obviously this is a very, very simple test, but the whole idea of launching the application and interacting with the controls on the screen, this is very, very good because if you had a long form of registration information where you have to fill out all the registration and you have to find out if the registration was successful or not, then instead of doing it manually again and again, you will write a unit test, a UI test to automate these things. And it is going to reduce a lot of work for you in the future. So there you have it. Now your challenge, your assignment, your homework is to create a separate test for when the decrement button is pressed. Then the label should be decremented successfully. So go ahead and do that assignment. This video was part of my upcoming course on iOS unit testing, and I'm working on some other courses also. If you do want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my Udemy courses. And you can see that I have a lot of different Udemy courses, including the bestseller on Surf UI declarative interfaces for any Apple device. This is a 12.5 hour plus course, which covers everything that you need to know about Surf UI development. I also have courses, advanced courses on intermediate and advanced iOS, as well as data structures, algorithm, design patterns, MapKit, Vapor, ARKit, JSON parsing, and a lot more. Now, the best way to get the course is to check out the YouTube description and all the links to all my courses are over there. So simply click on the link and you will get the best course and the best price. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. And thank you so much for supporting my courses. Thank you.